Hello everyone, so today we're doing um, a little sharing of Jacob's favourite books. Now Jacob is two and a half years old. This isn't Jacob, this is Caspian, he is four months old. Jacob's over here with a lockdown haircut. <laughs> Say hello Jacob! Hiya! Hiya! And we're going to be cutting his hair soon, but I thought I'd just share with you some of his favourite books that he's really enjoying at the moment. So the first one is... Panda Makes Faces. Now, this is a really lovely, it's quite an old book, um, but it's really lovely for talking about feelings and facial expressions. And this book talks about Panda losing his peanut butter, and he goes through a range of emotions, being sleepy and confused, angry, happy, sad. And at the back of the book, they have these um, little pop-up faces that then match with him throughout the book. So he starts off being sleepy. So you can choose the right face and put it up as you're reading. Jacob really enjoys this. When we read through it with him, we all do the faces. Um, so we might say, Daddy, show us your shocked face. Jacob, show us your shocked face. <gasps> show us your angry face. <laughs> show us your happy face. <laughs> and he learned all these faces through reading that book. So that's one of our favourites at the moment. Uh, another one of his favourite books is this um, Osborne book, which is Look Inside Building Sites. And it's not so much a story book, but he, he really enjoys going through the pages. There's lots of flaps, and it shows lots of different types of vehicles and um, construction work things <laughs> and there there are literally loads and loads of flats it just goes on and on and on and he thinks it's hilarious he particularly likes the ones that have huge diggers on um or like this page here a bar. oh jacob's got a bar jacob look mm. look <gasps> wow that's big isn't it baby Wow! So it was while reading this book that he learnt the phrase "Wow." You want your bar? Snack time. You're gonna read that book, baby. It's a digger, is it? There you go. There's your bar. The building sites book is a favourite for him particularly during the day. Not so much a bedtime book, but a good daytime book. <laughs> yes, darling, you can read your digger book while we talk about the other books. Owl Babies. Now, I thought he wouldn't enjoy it because the artwork is quite um, samey all the way through. You've just got the pictures of the three baby owls and it's all quite dark and samey. And I didn't think he would go for it because he likes quite bright, um, varied storybooks. But he loves this one and it's about uh, three babies who go to sleep one night and they wake up and their mum has gone. Obviously their mum's gone off hunting but they don't know where she's gone. And The three owls is Sarah, Percy and Bill and they constantly repeat words. So Sarah says, oh maybe she's gone out and Percy says maybe she's gone hunting but Bill always says the thing, same thing. Bill always says, I want my... Mummy. I want my mommy. Mommy. <laughs> so Jacob always enjoys joining in with that one and saying mommy whenever Bill says I want my mommy. So that's a lovely bedtime book because mommy does come back, which is good. <laughs> you still enjoying that one, are you, honey? Yeah. Oh, what's there? Sticker. Sticker. Another favourite for him at bedtime is the Julia Donaldson A Squash and a Squeeze. Now Julia Donaldson is a favourite for many parents. She has done some fantastic books and this is one that we've been enjoying a lot recently. Um, it's about a little old lady who doesn't appreciate the space that she has in her house. She thinks that it's too small and a wise old man tells her to bring in lots of different animals until there's no room and then she's like whoa it really is a squash and a squeeze 
and then she takes them all out together and learns to appreciate what she's got. Um, Jacob enjoys this one because he gets to join in a lot. Because of his speech delay, we tend to hold off saying all the words, giving him a chance to add the words in. Um, so with this one, because it's quite repetitive, has um, like a rhyming thing going on. <laughs> You're enjoying the digger. A big digger. Wow, yeah, a big digger. So a squash and a squeeze, really lovely book. Big that one. You like that one, don't you? A big digger. You like a big digger too. Now, I've saved the best to last because his all-time favourite set of books at the moment is the Harry McClary books. We have a set here in a bag and in the bag we have... How many? How many books do we have, Jacob, here? We have six books. You like these ones, don't you? Mm -hmm. You're trying to get a hold of one? Okay, so the Harry McClary books, they're lovely little paperback books. It's lots of words that I wouldn't have thought would be um, enjoyable for a little boy. Um, but he really likes it. Uh, he likes the, the, the rhyming. He seems to enjoy the artwork in it, don't you? Jake? You love the Harry McClary books. Should we read one now? Should we read one? Out of the gate and off for a walk went Harry McClary from Donaldson's Daddy. Dairy. Mummy. Yeah. And Hercules Morse as. Wow. Hercules Morse wow. as. Big as a. Ooh. Horse. <laughs> yeah. Nay. Nay. With Harry McClary from Donaldson's. Bottomly pots all covered in spots, Hercules Morse as big as a horse. I won't make you speak when you're eating. And Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. Yeah, so you can see they're, they're very, um, it's been very flamboyant language. Uh, it's really great. He goes on all these different adventures. And there's a scary cat called Scarface Claw who likes to put the dogs in their place. And Jacob insists on reading pretty much all six books every night. And he likes a, one of those as well for his nap time. So those are our favourite books at the moment. If you have any other favourites that your two to three year olds is enjoying at the moment, please let us know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, then why not join us for more parenting vlogs and tips and tricks type videos. Okay, that's goodbye from me. Goodbye from Casper. And goodbye from Jacob. Jacob, say goodbye. Bye-bye.